Good morning to you on this Friday morning. We continue our consideration of Philippians chapter 1, today verse 27. Only conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or remain absent, I will hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Paul here touches on something very, very important, and that is that our life, our conduct, has to be in line with who we are. If we are children of God, then our life should be reflecting that. Every action, every word, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. When we act in love, then we are conducting ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. The world will see what we do much faster than listen to what we say. And if what we do lines up with what we say, then we have a very powerful witness. On the other hand, if we proclaim that we are Christians, yet we are not living in love and we're not living a life that honors God, that is worthy of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, then we are hypocrites, and the world will see that very clearly and be turned away. We must be very, very careful that our life always lines up, that our light is shining brightly, that our salt is always salty. Only conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or remain absent, I will hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. We need to realize that as Christians, we are brothers and sisters. We are all working for the same person. We are working for the same God. We are working for the Lord Jesus Christ. We should be of one mind. We can have differences in the way we do things, but in the basic confessions of the faith, we are the one. We believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. We provide a, present a united front to the world. That's very, very important. When the world sees a church that's divided, the body of Christ is split up into different factions and sections, it doesn't give a good witness. We need to be one. There's strength in unity. We can have our differences, but we can still be united. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. This verse is so important, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Only conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or remain absent, I will hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day. Every new day is a new opportunity to be a witness for you. Every new day is a gift from you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, that you love us with an everlasting love. And we pray that you help us, that our life would always reflect you. Help us to live this day in a manner worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ, so that whoever we meet, whatever we do, we would always be doing things in love, that we would always, Lord, be showing your grace and mercy to all people. Help us to conduct ourselves in a manner that brings glory and honor to your name. Help us to be united with our brothers and sisters around the world. We pray for the country in which we live in, your word teaches us to pray for our governments and those in authority, which we do right now. We lift them up before you, and we ask, Lord, that you give them wisdom, godly wisdom and understanding. Help them to make good and right decisions in all things. Help them, Lord, to navigate through these difficult times. We pray for the soul that doesn't know you yet. We pray that today would be the day they open their hearts to you. We pray, Lord, for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. Our thoughts and prayers, as always, go out to the Ukraine. We pray for an end to this war. We pray, Lord, for the end of the suffering. We pray that the enemy be defeated. We pray that he return to his own land and stay within his borders. Heavenly Father, all things are possible for you, so we just leave it in your hands. We know that all things work together for good to those who love you, who are called according to your eternal purposes. We proclaim that we love you, and so we know that all things work together for our good, even the things we don't understand. So as we head out into this day, Lord, will you do so by praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you, God willing. I'll see you all again tomorrow.